started the Underground Alliance in 1996. That's when we officially established uh, my association. Uh, this is uh, my trademark, which represents the Underground Alliance. It's seen everywhere. Uh, uh, before that, um, I trained in uh, Taikido Karate, ran by William Mark Whitley uh, of the Whitley uh, clan. I also trained in Aiki Jiu Jitsu Daito Ru, uh, Takeshi Okamoto from the Daito Ru, Aiki Jiu Jitsu Rinsei Kai. Um, and I trained under, uh, in the Taka Dojo, ran by Noriyasu Kudo Sensei. I'm trying to uh, put the, the, the original essence back in, in martial arts. Um, a lot of martial arts this day and age are more uh, sporting uh, more business oriented. Um, I'm trying to go back to the essence and, and, and bring back pragmatic martial arts within the Underground Alliance. Um, what we do is I teach the martial sciences. The martial arts are one part of the martial sciences. The martial arts itself is just a physical aspect. Yeah. Uh, like this is a martial arts technique, this is a martial arts technique, sidekick martial arts technique. The martial sciences are the understanding of. Um, so the way that we break it down, the martial sciences is what we teach and the martial sciences are the understanding of criminal law, physics, psychology, sociology, anatomy, and martial arts as it applies to combat. We look at it from a uh, uh, a deeper uh, perspective. Uh, I've been training since I was six years old. Um, I had a, a couple of different experiences with different people until I finally found um, a school where I felt at home. Um, that was with the Whitleys and Taikido Karate. Uh, and then uh, throughout that process I wanted more information. Um, I'm all about research. And uh, so I, I sought out uh, uh, Aikido school and I ended up finding Aikido Jiu Jitsu. Um, and then uh, I wanted more uh, uh, in depth uh, information about throws and, and grappling. So I sought out some judo and, and uh, you know, it just continues, it just never ends. I've been here uh, probably about seven years or something. Um, every house that I've lived in, I built a dojo, so it's nothing new to me. Uh, when I trained uh, as a younger uh, child, everybody that I trained with, uh, we never really trained in commercial dojos. They were more uh, private dojos in people's houses, and I just keep that tradition alive. Um, I don't believe in commercial arts. Commercial arts, a lot of people have to train people just to keep their lights on. I can reserve the right to be selective, just like my instructors. Uh, Reserve the right. This is that's not something that you know we go looking for or anything. But martial arts was built off of challenges, and uh, you know, um, and there are some people who you know don't take no for an answer. Everybody that's ever challenged me, um, I put in the hospital. But not out of choice. It was out of. I was always taught that um, you can't take challenges lightly. You know, you just can't. Can't show weakness. It's, the problem is, I spent my life establishing this symbol, establishing my dojo. I spent a lifetime establishing a strong organization to have somebody come and allow them to, in one fail swoop, destroy what I built, can't happen. Because of that, I can't take a challenge lightly. If I can quell the situation, get them out of here without getting physical, that's what we'll do. But if it comes down to it and it comes to getting physical, I got to put my life on the line because this is my life. This is what I do. This is this is more than what I do. This is who I am. Do you understand?
I don't want to be like this. See? I want to be in his face. Every time. This hand comes down. This covers my center line. See it? So I can continue walking. You understand? I want to be in his face. Every time I throw something, 